Hi there everyone, welcome back to Infinity Drones. Today we take a look at the DJI FPV drone and the latest firmware upgrade. So if you've upgraded to the latest firmware version, version I think dot 300 at the end, um, then you might be thinking, hey, does drone hacks still work? Well, I've got good news for you. It still does. So without further ado, let's just jump into the steps that you need to do to get back to the original firmware. First things first, you open the Dronax application, connect your drone, power it on, and then you'll be able to see the firmware version as well as the firmware upgrade version as well. So the first thing you need to do is you need to open the Dronax application. Now I'm assuming you've already know or you already know how drone hacks work. If you do not, please go watch my Drone Hacks 1.2.7 video. It's a complete tutorial, takes you from step from all the way from the beginning all the way through to the end where you've loaded it and modded your drone. So anyway, when you've opened the Drone Hacks application, you've powered on your drone. It is going to detect at the top of the screen. You'll be able to see. Remember, you've got to have a valid Drone Hacks license, and you should have everything already connected up. As you can see, there's my firmware version, and it's also going to say what the recommended firmware version is. Now, typically, the Drone Hacks website is very up to date, and it tells you what firmware is supported. But the DJI FV Drone's latest version of 300 at the end is not shown on the Drone Hacks website, but it is supported. Okay, I have upgraded my DJI FV Drone, and I'm now going to show you guys how to do it. I have already downloaded the necessary firmware, so I'm just going to show you guys where. Just click on the download link, DroneX will automatically populate the website. You click next, next, next essentially and just download the firmware version you require. Now remember, I've already downloaded the file, but if you have, you click on the load firmware button, you will scroll down to the firmware version you need, and then you can just essentially click load and you're going to start flashing the firmware. But here's the kicker. Because I'm not on the correct firmware version, DroneX will automatically say, hey, listen, I'm not on the correct version. I need a special firmware. And you can only get that special firmware if you have a valid DroneX license. Clicking the link will automatically populate the download button, and then you can download the file just like that. I've already downloaded the file, so I can essentially just browse to my machine and go get the file, but you would essentially just follow the download prompts on the screen. When you get that file, you're going to load it onto the system, and then all you need to do is just click Flash Firmware. Essentially, what it's going to do is it's going to automatically load the firmware to the system. But you see, we need the special firmware version because the anti-rollback version of the new firmware is not the same as the previous one. So you need the previous or well, the special intermediate firmware, otherwise it won't work. And it does not work if you do not have a license. So do not ask me for uh, a special firmware download because it's not going to work. You must get a DJI license. There's no other way. Sorry, guys. Now, anyway, once you leave it, you're going to see it's going to start uploading the file automatically to the drone. And this should not take longer than two, three minutes. Okay. Two, three minutes is really actually a long time. So you can essentially leave it there and you can just see that your drone might restart um, as it goes through the process. However, when you are uploading files to your drone, it should not actually really restart. It should only restart if you are flashing the firmware. So if you have put your drone in, and in this case, you're going to see that my cable got bumped and I could have not upload the file correctly. And you're going to see now shortly my drone disconnect and reconnect. You see, I'm still uploading the file. Therefore, I'm not changing the software. I'm not doing anything. I could essentially plug the drone out, turn it off. It would not make a difference because the drone is still only uploading the file. It's not loading it. So it's not changing any of the software on the drone yet. But if it was in a flashing phase, then you do not touch your drone. Please, guys, you could really wreck your drone. So please be careful. DroneX has quite a few safety um, places, um, locks in place. So make sure that you can't accidentally brick your drone. But it's always good to just err on the side of caution. And in this case, you can see my cable got disconnected. And now my upload process has not failed. Now, typically, it can resume and just continue. As you can see, it's already connected to the top of the screen. But another scenario would be that you click the upload button. You haven't touched your drone. It's just sitting there. And it's just a glitch on the software side making it not upload. So if, for instance, you've left your drone there for, let's say, uh, five, seven minutes, then by all means, turn it off, turn it back on again. It's not going to work. Restart yours. In my case, you can see I've had it there for 10 minutes. I'm just leaving it on so you can run through the whole page. You can see the back, side, back uh, section over there. You get to a point where that's too long. Okay, so I would say seven minutes, five, seven minutes, that's just too long. In this case, I left it for 10 minutes and you can see it's just not going to work. So what you need to do then is you just close the DroneX application. You can leave everything else connected. Just reopen the DroneX application as the software just got stuck. 
if you guys with Windows, you would know exactly what we're talking about. So anyway, guys, just open the DroneX application again. It would automatically detect everything. As you can see, the firmware version has now changed. Okay. So in this case, you, I'm lucky my firmware version actually did run in the background. It just didn't show on the front of the application. So that's why you leave it for five to seven minutes, five to 10 minutes. In this case, my firmware version has now moved to the new intermediate firmware, meaning that I can now switch over to the correct firmware version. So it's not 200 or 00 at the end. So in this case, I'm going to select it, just click load, load again, and essentially just flash the firmware. And you'll see that when I click the button over here, it is going to run through the whole process quite quickly. Now, in this video, you're going to see two different scenarios. The first thing you saw where it didn't even show that it flashed the correct firmware. And that is because the fact my cable got bumped, it, it should show it. Okay, if it doesn't show it, just leave it for five, seven minutes so that you can be clear that maybe the firmware was flashed in the background. You don't want to disconnect if it is maybe flashing in the background. Especially if your drone is starting to restart by itself, that means the flashing is happening in the background. Just leave it for five to ten minutes, you should be fine. In this case, you can see that I'm now flashing my new firmware version, but you can see it is essentially there's nothing going on on my screen. So what's going on? This is now fast forwarded quite a lot and you can see it's still not moving and now it's starting to restart. Since it has restarted by itself, you can see that the flash has happened and I just left it for five minutes. After it's done, you can see that we'll go over to the hacks page and you can see that there's the FCC mode you can enable. My firmware version is obviously still there. You can check the firmware version has updated properly. If you go to the hacks tab, you'll be able to enable the FCC mode or the no-fly zone options. When you click on the FCC mode, you'll see that it is going to restart three, four, five times. Okay, so when you click it, it does take three, five minutes. Just let it be, let it restart through the whole process and a little pop-up is going to appear at the end. It's going to tell you that it has flashed successfully. Now, it's important you guys know that if you've enabled the FCC mode, do not upgrade your firmware. If you ever upgrade your firmware, you are going to lose the mod and you're going to have to redo this whole process if it is going to work. Now remember, before you flash any firmware, always go check the drone hacks webpage. It's going to show you what is supported. Like for instance, the Mini 2, if you've upgraded to the 0500, you're screwed. You can't do anything. If you've got an Air 2 and you've updated to the latest version, you're also screwed. You can't do anything. But with all the other drones, you can see that the software is still supported and you're all able to downgrade. In this case, you can see that with the Air 2, you can download on certain firmware and you can't download the others. So please, before you purchase a license, always 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 go check if it is supported if it's not come post in my comments ask and we can always check out for you and we can make a video like this to get everyone upskilled okay so in this case you can see that my dji fpv drone has now restarted quite a few times my fcc mode is essentially um, almost done installing you we're just waiting for the process to complete like i know this is going up going on because there we go the it, it'll pop up appears to say that if you um Enable FCC mode, do not flash your firmware, update your software. Please guys also try and not connect to the DJI Fly app. It can do a force update for you. So my opinion on DJI FPV drone is once you've got this installed, just never open the Fly app again. It's just not worth it. If you've got the Android app, just go use the DigiView app to share your screen. Essentially, you're also going to do the exact same thing for the no-fly zones. You're just going to click the button. It's going to have a pop-up saying, hey, do not update your firmware, but you're going to do the mod. And that's essentially it. So as you can see, it's a very simple process to go through. You just follow the steps on the video and it's going to take you through the whole process to downgrade your drone to the correct firmware version so that you are able to then get FCC mode back as well as enable no fly or disable the no fly zones and the altitude limits. Once again, I can't stress this enough. Do not update your firmware or software. It will remove the mod and you could potentially not downgrade in the future again, meaning that you've lost your 40 euros. With that said, if you have a DJI FPV drone, get drone hacks. Get it. It makes the drone so much better. There's no point in getting an FPV drone that has all the safety functions and it can't do a mountain dive that's more than 500 meters. I mean, that is just a joke. So in my opinion, get the drone hacks mod for your DJI FPV drone and just make it much, much, much better drone. That's it, guys. It's as simple as that. You don't need anything else. You've loaded the DroneX software. If you don't know how to do it and you got stuck, just go back to my video at DroneX 1.2.7. Just take a look at the card I posted and then you can just follow the steps there. It contains everything. But if you are on the latest version, you can downgrade if you already have a DroneX license. Even if you don't have a DroneX license, you can still purchase it and you can still downgrade to the latest, well, to the recommended firmware version. 
This is just to tell you guys that if you have a DJI FV drone, no matter the firmware version, it is supported. Just go buy it, go do it, set your drone free, and yeah, just go dive a mountain, <laughs> fly a long ways away, and just enjoy your drone. Thank you guys very much for watching. As always, if you find the content that I'm watching useful, please consider to click the subscribe button and uh, like the video at the bottom. I love to read your comments below and I really do appreciate your time and efforts. Thank you very much and goodbye.